Hi, my name is Dr. Matt Winter and I'm a urological surgeon. I am pleased to welcome you to this video discussing transperineal prostate biopsy. A prostate biopsy is the removal of tiny samples of prostate tissue, which is then sent to the pathologist to determine if any prostate cancer is present. I perform transperineal prostate biopsy as this is the best way to reduce infective complications. The procedure will be performed under general anesthesia. Intravenous antibiotics will be given at first. Your legs will be placed in stirrups and an ultrasound probe will be placed within the anus. A small needle will then be placed through the perineum, which is the skin between the anus and the scrotum, and then into the prostate to collect the small sample of tissue. The transperineal approach means no needles are placed through the rectum. The needle will be placed several times into the prostate depending upon the size of the prostate and the presence of any abnormal areas found on MRI. The procedure will take approximately 35 to 45 minutes. What are the benefits? A prostate biopsy may confirm the presence of prostate cancer. What are the risks? As with any surgical procedure, there are risks of unsuccessful results, complications and injury or even death from both known and unforeseen causes. The general risks of surgery include anesthesia-related issues, urinethitis will discuss in greater detail, bleeding during the operation, which may require a blood transfusion, blood clots in the legs, deep vein thromboses, lungs, pulmonary emboli, or brain stroke, heart or lung problems, e.g. abnormal heart rate or rhythm, chest infection, collapsed lung may occur, adverse or allergic reactions to medication, damage to nearby structures, pain and scarring, or infection. The specific risks of a transperineal prostate biopsy include bacteria that may get into the bloodstream and result in the development of septicemia. This will require admission to hospital and treatment with intravenous antibiotics. Septicemia is extremely rare in transperineal prostate biopsy. Bleeding may occur in the back passage, Urinary tract infections may occur, resulting in burning, stinging, or increased frequency of urination. In rare circumstances, an abscess may form within the prostate. Swelling of the prostate is not uncommon and may result in urinary retention. This may require the insertion of a catheter on a temporary basis until you're able to urinate again. There is an increased risk in smokers, obese people, diabetics, or immunocompromised patients for chest infections, lung, and heart complications and blood clots. The results of the biopsy may not help make a diagnosis. There is a risk of damage to nerves, blood vessels, and other structures surrounding the treatment area. This can result in erectile dysfunction or incontinence. This is exceedingly rare. Death secondary to complications is also exceedingly rare, but possible. What are the alternatives? A blood test, PSA, or MRI scan may show that you have a problem, but they cannot confirm the diagnosis of prostate cancer. You will need to advise me if you have any of the following, an artificial heart valve or coronary artery stent, a pacemaker or defibrillator, any implant or foreign body, if you take a regular prescription for blood thinning medication, if you've done any recent travel to Asia or have used fluoroquinolone antibiotics in the past year, please tell me. If you have any allergies as well, that's important to know. You shouldn't eat or drink anything six hours prior to surgery. After the procedure, you'll be able to go home the same day. You may have some soreness in the rectum or in the perineum, small amounts of blood in your stools, urine or semen. You may have some light bleeding from the rectum. You may have some burning or bleeding or discomfort on urination. All of these symptoms are normal and will generally self-resolve. A responsible adult should be with you for at least 24 hours. Be near a telephone in case of an emergency. Please do not drive, operate machinery, or do any potential dangerous activities for at least 24 hours or until you have fully recovered. You can restart your blood thinning medication 48 hours after your biopsy, providing you do not have any significant bleeding from your urine or your rectum. You should be able to return to work the next day unless you are told otherwise. Do not do any strenuous activity for two to three days. It is important to notify my office or attend the emergency department if bleeding from the back passage or the urine does not settle within three days or is getting heavier, not lighter, if you develop a fever, if you have any problems passing urine or worsening pain. The pathologist generally takes seven to 10 days to complete the analysis of the prostate biopsy. 
You will need to follow up with me one to two weeks after the biopsy for these results. I will discuss with you whether you require any further treatment or follow up after the initial biopsy. I hope you found this video informative and I trust it has better equipped you and your family to prepare for your upcoming operation. I am available to answer any questions you may have or you can contact my office if you have any concerns. I look forward to helping you resolve your urological problems, performing the operation and caring for you during the recovery.